welcome back. How well do you know the songs that you listen to on a daily basis? Well, maybe you know the lyrics, but could you identify the title of the song, the composer, or other, say, trivial information about the piece? And what about music that's centuries old? As Elaine Cleveland reports, it's a skill that three local students from Champlin Park have mastered. The soothing sounds of string instruments reverberate through the halls of Champlin Park High School. But in this class of talented musicians are three students who are so in tune to music Egmont for real. Egmont for real. that they've developed a skill to identify pieces composed hundreds of years ago. The harpsichord concerto. Played and stored. J.S. Bach. Of course, on 21st century technology. This is uh, Orpheus in the Underworld. <laughs> They're so talented and, and really, and they are brilliant. They're on the robotics club and doing all kinds of different things too. Solo a pensoso. Siglinda Grivna coaches this talented trio, consisting of seniors Maria Ariola, Jake Coonan, and Catherine Lamont. Together, they make up Champlin Park's music listening team. The music listening team is a group of three students that study for the music listening contest, and this contest spans um, the history of music from the Renaissance to Oh wait, even before and so yeah. yeah. In other words, they study Western art music covering a span of a thousand years. Mozart's oh, yeah. clarinet concerto. <laughs> then they test their knowledge against <laughs> other high school teams from across Minnesota. It's not just identifying the piece. You have to know a lot of trivia about it, so that was something we did. Some of their motivation comes from the fact that the students also happen to enjoy the music from the time period. It helps, because yeah. if you don't like it, you won't want to listen to it, and if you don't listen to it, you can't identify it. Starting in January, the team used every free moment to brush up on the study guide and listen to the accompanying CD recordings. They made timelines, they made flashcards, they quizzed each other. I know Maria deleted all the music off of her phone that wasn't music listening competition music, so she would force herself to listen to it. All of that hard work paid off. In the case next to the cafeteria sits the trophy they won for being Minnesota's 2016 music listening champions, beating out more than 20 teams at the state competition in February. It was very awesome. In the process, they leave behind a legacy as they close out their senior year. At Champlin Park, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. This is the first music listening championship for Champlin Park High School for winning the state contest. The students received medals and tickets to go see the Minnesota Orchestra.